12 year old Caitlin Thornley, this sound has become painfully familiar. Three weeks ago, Caitlin began sneezing and she hasn't stopped. I was walking out of a clarinet lesson. All of a sudden, it just, it kind of started in just like little spurts. You know, it was like just a few sneezes here and there, but by the time I went to bed, I had sneezed 30 times that night. Caitlin now averaging about 20 sneezes per minute. I can control it sometimes, but it's really painful. And so far, doctors at Texas Children's Hospital in Houston haven't been able to figure out exactly what is causing the uncontrollable sneezing, referring to the condition as a tick. She had kind of a funny feeling that she describes in her nose, and that piece of her history is very common for ticks. It's not the first time doctors have seen bizarre cases like this. In fact, some believe ticks may be triggered in the brain by something stressing the child out. 10% of all kids are affected by ticks. She can't go to school and can't really do anything normal. Can't eat well. She's has to sip. She can't drink. It's I mean, it's, it's affected everything. I mean, she has an episode yesterday where it was 45 straight minutes. She was screaming in pain a couple of times. So, and, and all, all I can do is just, you know, hold her tight and wait for her to go to sleep. And Caitlin, she just wants to get back to seventh grade. This has taken a huge toll on my life. I want nothing more than for this to end. I just want it to be gone for good. So hard for her to do that interview, and she tells us she can't go to school. The sneezing is just too distracting. She can't be on the swim team. She can't play her clarinet. And just think about this, she can't even sleep. The sneezes oh, just wake so her sad. up. How brave of her to go out and talk about it, because yeah. that has to be such I'm a really hoping to find a solution. Yeah. 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 yeah, I can see how it's affecting her parents, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't imagine. Thank you, thank you, Gio. Yeah. Let's go outside now to Ginger. And what a beautiful crowd we have out here this morning, all with their fresh flowers. I love seeing this, and we don't love seeing this. There's a storm in the middle of the Pacific, fortunately, missed Hawaii, but a lot of that moisture is being picked up by that high-pressure system.